Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. Today, I will be reading from the r slash Entitled People subreddit. So let's jump into it. Entitled male Karen yells at restaurant's owner, not realizing he's the owner, and gets kicked out along with his companions. Hi everyone, first time posting in this sub. This happened over the end of the summer in my hometown, a little city in central Mexico. First of all, two nights before this happening, my city got hit by really strong winds. We hadn't seen anything like it before. The wind tore up some trees, billboards, fences, and in my house, it tore tore up a plastic dome we had in the middle of our roof. It was a hard night because we had a literal hole in the middle of the house and it was raining. We had to cover it up with a giant tent while also throwing out buckets of water off the lower floor and making sure nothing important got wet. After having spent the next day repairing and cleaning everything, my parents decided to relax for the weekend by going to eat at one of our favorite places. So we go to the restaurant and it was clear it also got hit hard by the winds. The restaurant is basically a giant terrace, so it's pretty much outdoors inside the city. Upon entering, I noticed the owner on the floor next to the bar, fixing some stuff, and he was wearing working clothes and was full of grease and stuff. So if you didn't know him already, you would think he was just a worker in the restaurant. He's pretty chill and kind, always greets regulars, and goes from table to table asking if everything is okay. The place is like casual fancy and one of the best in the city. This is when the entitled man shows up. While we were eating, there was a blackout because workers of the electrical company were fixing a damaged power line nearby, so the TVs and the music went off. This entitled man started whistling and screaming for the the restaurant staff to do something. The owner approached him and said they would fire up their backup generator and that please can he be quiet in the meantime because it was no place to be causing a scene. Entitled man went ballistic because he thought a worker was shushing him. So you know the usual. He hit the owner with the classic, do you know who I am? He was yelling and telling him that he knew the owner and that he was going to get him fired, that he wanted to speak to the manager because he he was paying a lot for the service being so shitty. Obviously him knowing the manager was a blatant lie because he was in front of him, just with working clothes. And the man was probably just trying to show off because at his table there was another man and two visibly embarrassed women. The whole restaurant went quiet because most of the customers are regulars. I always saw the owner as a gentle giant because he's fucking huge and pretty cool, but he got red as a tomato and started yelling at the guy. I've never seen him like that. I'm roughly translating what the owner said. His choice of words were interesting, and Spanish is such a beautiful language to tell someone to go fuck themselves. He told the entitled man that the place was his fucking restaurant and that the man was not welcome anymore. That he please pick up his companions and get the fuck out. The owner also told him that he didn't care a flying fuck who he was. That he didn't want his money and he just wanted him gone. The man was curled up in his seat being yelled at by this huge man and he stood up after that and quickly went to the exit, then yelling F you when he was at a safe distance. When it was all over, the owner apologized to everyone in the restaurant and offered some free drinks and snacks. Like I said, he's a pretty cool guy. By the way, we were without electricity for like five minutes. Spanish is such a beautiful language to tell someone to go fuck themselves. Well, Mexican Spanish is quite florid in that aspect. We, after all, draw on dozens of endemic languages. Furthermore, the literal translation of chinga a tu madre is go and sexually assault your mother. Well, I've always wanted to learn Spanish, but now I do even more. <sighs> People like this entitled man that get mad at innocent workers for things way outside their control, such as a power outage from a storm, are the worst kinds of people. Like, yes sir, you can take it up with my manager, Mother Nature, if you would like to know why there's no power. Of course, I would be saying this to him in Spanish, so it would likely sound much more eloquent.
when the Karen actually does know the manager and the owner. So this happened back in late November and I only heard most of it secondhand. I work at a really nice Chinese American dim sum restaurant and we've got a strong following of regulars. One of these regulars is an old couple that have been coming to have tea and dim sum religiously since we first opened and through the pandemic. Now, ever since we started asking for proof of vaccination plus ID, because of city ordinances, the staff never actually asked these couple for theirs. That is, until our newly hired front of house host asked them after discovering the staff didn't even ask them during their meal. And as you would guess it, these old regulars weren't even vaccinated. When told they shouldn't be in the restaurant without vaccination, they threw a fit. Old Chinese Karen then threatened to call the manager and proceeded to call said manager's personal mobile. The manager was told that the old regulars weren't vaccinated and was stuck in a quandary of having an extremely loyal, well-paying customer and the potential fines by the city should it ever be discovered. In the end, the manager told them that they could not return to eat without proof of vaccination. The old couple finished their food and announced quite vehemently that they would never be returned returning to the restaurant ever again. You'd think that would be the end of it. Guess again. Because the very next day, they showed up with their extended family, a group of 20 or so. Everyone except them had proof of vaccination. Old Chinese Karen proceeds to throw a fit when told she could not enter with the rest of the family, trying to guilt trip the host into letting them in. Unfortunately for her, our host is a veteran of the industry and is not at all in intimidated in telling her the rules. Q calling the manager, of which it is explained to her again that she cannot eat at the restaurant without proof of vaccination. At this point, everyone is quite done with this and the family sends their parents back home via Uber. Before old Chinese Karen leaves, she proclaims that the host and the manager would rue the day for embarrassing her by calling the owner and thus, she does so, calling him and being told again in no uncertain terms that she cannot eat there without proof of vaccination. Let's just say she was not at all happy with being told so. So all Karen could say was, we're never coming back here again. Well, let's just say that we know where she lives and she still orders delivery from our restaurant to this day. Edit, Chinese slash Asians know each other in the community, especially the older grannies and grandpas of the Asian communities. They are all horrible gossips and chances are they know your father's, brother's, nephew's, cousin's, former roommate for some reason. This applies to old Chinese Karens as well. Unfortunately, again. Why are you mad at a worker for something outside of their control? Having to be vaxxed in order to eat in a restaurant is a government mandate. Like, yes ma'am, you can take it up with my manager, the government. Of course, I would be saying this to her in Spanish, so it would sound much more eloquent. Also, before anyone calls OP a racist, I checked and he is Asian as well. So, he can slam people of his own culture if he wants. But anyways, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed these two entitled people stories. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!